One day, the women came to me uh, through a meeting. I had a woman, I had 100 women in my, in my organization. And they said, you know why we never, you know why we are never promoted, why we never get the job? We're always considered. And everybody wants to promote women, but we never get the job. And do you know why? And I was, I was here on this stage, and 100 women there. Uh, you, know, this, and I, you know, I thought I was a good guy. I thought we were doing our best and everything. What possible answer could we have? We, we know why. Because we're never the best qualified. And they said, said, why? I said, well, you have your best day. You said, um, uh, we have the same education as men do. But when the job comes up, we're always considered. And we look at the two sets of experience. And the woman never has as good experience because they never get the really leading edge projects to work on. They're always working on these other projects. And because we always get, we get projects, nobody wants us to fail. So they always give us, they seem to always give us the, the second best project, the safe project, because they never, because we don't have enough women, they want, they're helping us by giving us these safe projects. We never get the other projects. What do we do? How do we fix this? And I knew I couldn't go back to the department and say, give women riskier projects. It doesn't work. But this is an example of something that has nothing to do with precision. This is the, uh, my other side, mm -hmm. which is the wheeling and dealing side. And so I said, write a person. And I thought of this immediately. I said, write a personal business plan. Personal business plan? What's that? I said, put a horizontal line on a piece of paper. Put down a number, which is the value of, imagine that your project, whatever it is you're going to do, is a success and give it a number. It could be dollars uh, or years of your life. I'd, I'd give uh, five years, if I'm a, say you're a medical student, I'd give five, 10 years of my life to cure cancer or whatever. So give a number. Multiply it by the probability and divide it by the cost. So if that's a big number, do it. If it's a small number, don't do it. Well, it turned out uh, that's a very imprecise thing to do. And nobody knows exactly what the value is. Uh, and nobody knows exactly what the cost is, and you don't know what the probability is. Every one of those is a guess. But in the process of doing this, they first went to the department heads, and the department heads came back and said, well, we don't know what's value. So I said, go ask the customer. Who is, it, who is it going to benefit? Go ask the beneficiary of this how much it's worth to the beneficiary. So well, we don't know who the beneficiary is. And all the women began to say, you mean you're giving me a job whose value you don't know, who the beneficiary is and don't know. They started asking that question, and within three years, I think we had five or six or ten promotions, and then my job today is held by one of the women that got promoted at that time. So that's another side. In some way, that's, that's an example of what you do when you're a leader.